there, guys. Okay. Here we have our Bitcoin chart. Uh, this was my bearish count. Yes. Um, I need to reconsider everything here, right? Not everything, but most of it. Mm -hmm. This is... Um, yeah, this is a pretty much A, B, C, but we need to reconsider the, the subwaves here and we don't have this diagonal here. Okay, this was my bearish count, okay? Just to present you guys a different count and to... This would be our fourth wave, but it's really strange. I just to count it all like this now, okay? <coughs> I'm sorry. If you hear some bumping noises, uh, some stud, some knocks, it's a beaver that's working nearby. It's, he's trying to to build a bridge. <laughs> so I'm sorry for the sound sometimes. Eh? <laughs> so um, here we have our A, B, A, B, and a C. Uh, a that looks like a ABC, and this B that looks like a one, two, three, four, five. It's 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 not easy to count. It's an ABC. Got to tell you that it's a really long C. Okay, but uh, I'm taking into consideration that this wave four is retracing to the previous region of the wave four of a lower degree. So. We need to take into account this this scenario here we, we might go down here now okay perhaps a lower low here okay. i will target here minus 30 60 percent this i will target here i derived from this swinging high to low here it's gonna be a bit low here okay this is this is where i the people that bought here at 50%, okay, that I'm sorry, sold here in this in this dump, they are gonna buy here minus 33, 60% or wait a little bit longer to minus 33, 20%. Okay, uh, we have touched the 38, 20% retracement, okay, of the two swinging and of the fib retracement from two. two Seeing from two to three, okay. So it's a good spot for a wave four. It's the it's the, the normal spot, okay. Um, so yes, it's a difficult moment as always for Bitcoin. Not it's never easy. It has never been easy, at least since the beginning of the year, right? Um, so we need to be really pretty uh, aware of what's happening in, in, and have different counts. Uh, I am taking into consideration this bearish count as well, okay? I don't think we have finished the wave f f 5 here and I'm considering that we have one wave left here to perhaps a truncated fifth wave, perhaps lower, okay? Um, so. Um, this is my bearish count. Yes. Uh, just to okay, let, let me present my bullish count that I I presented yesterday, and I have tweeted, I, I have posted on my Twitter here. Yeah, this is my 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 bullish count. Okay. So my bullish count takes into account that. They take, takes into account that this is this is our our lowest low of the year, okay? Yet, okay. I'm not saying that we are gonna stop there, but uh, let me just take this out. Uh, this region has been yes, this region here that I noted, yeah, okay. This region right here uh, where we have some price interest. Here I noted. Uh, I don't know. This this is. Um, Stochastic. I have this 
the support line for Bitcoin and we have this is a four hour short okay we have plenty of room to go down we are in a wave three well we are building we are on wave four actually uh, going down in this count we have a really deep wave two okay we we, we finished we put on our wave three uh, extend, uh, the FIB extension shows us that wave 3 has 160 180%, 175% of wave 1, which is the best place for wave 3. Okay, the, statistically, yeah, it's the most likely place to land. And we have some weeks, we have one week here uh, trying to pierce through this region, which was a which is a really strong resistance. Uh, yet yeah, we, we, it has act this region has act as a resistance since June yeah, since yeah since June when we breached through it it has become a resistance yes. so uh, not nothing has happened at, not not uh, we haven't seen huge movements since yesterday okay we haven't seen it's like going almost sideways so I expect to see a minus 33 60 percent to no, 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 not minus I'm sorry 33 60 percent retracement 38 20 percent retracement those this this box here okay leave it here this should be our box of retracement okay if you go lower it's not a problem okay if you are going to play this trade I would start laddering my buys right here okay and I would put my stop loss in the region of wave one as I said I'm sorry here. I would put my stop loss here in the region of wave one because we have this Elliott wave rule that wave four should not retrace to the region of wave one unless it's in a leverage market in and only by a week okay so this would be a good buy i don't know i i don't know if i'm gonna play this this uh this retracement here this correction here to get this wave five because we don't have uh, a lot of confirmation okay this has yet to touch this resistance or break it and then go up we would need to kind of reset this RSI to have some room to have some room to finish this wave one this motive wave okay and then we would not we would need to break this resistance okay um, this is my bullish scenario okay I would like you guys to think a little bit about what is happening with Bitcoin okay lately because last year in 2017 we we had a lot of bad sentiment a lot of uh, a lot of fud spread throughout before we we had this we had that huge bump huh? let's see the short here this was let me check here here right here i'm zoom this is daily right oh jesus sorry uh, let me see 2017 i was here okay i was I was here taking a look at this region here. Let, let, let me just zoom in here. This region real. This was the beginning of the year. Okay. We were like in 1000. Just, just for you guys. January last year. January. The peak was uh, $1,000. Then we had this huge. Uh, not huge. Oh, come on. This correction. This ABC. Okay. Wave 2. If we are to count. 1, 2 one two then we would put a three here yeah. one two one two okay a lot of fud we had a lot of fud in this at this moment here perhaps three thousand this was what yes exactly at the same time that we are now here we were like 4k and then we went to 3k then a lot of people said nah uh, we, we, we we have seen this was september right yes we if you go on Google and look for older 
Yeah? For old news, the people in September was saying, oh, Bitcoin is done. Bitcoin is done. It's not going, it, it's going nowhere. Okay, 3K, yeah, it, it, it has, stupid people try to, to, to bump it to 6K, to 5K, I'm sorry, but then it's, it's now a 3K. It's not gonna happen, okay? But then, surprise, surprise, we had this huge bump, okay? For 7K, then, okay, the, it's a story, right? Reaching 20K, 21K. Okay, wh wh what I'm saying is that when the sentiment is that low, when the people are really bearish, when, the, when you see the news telling us, hey, don't buy it, don't buy it. It's a bad, bad. It, it's bad business. We might consider it. You might. We might consider it a bit of a. We, we might consider it with a pinch of salt. Okay. Hmm. It doesn't sound like. Do you trust Bitcoin? Do you trust technology? So, people there, people in the business, they they want the lowest price as possible. Okay. This was the lowest price as possible back then, 2K, okay? They want this, they want this, and this wasn't a huge movement, okay? Because, you see here, you see here the buying pressure, okay? A lot of people bought here to sell at the top, okay? They knew it, but, they, but first they need to create some FUD. This time here, I'm telling you guys, it was a lot of... of uncertainty as well just before this parabolic I'm not saying that we are gonna we, we are about to have the same pattern I'm not saying this I'm not comparing to I'm not comparing what happened then which what with what is happening now because of course this is a non-linear system and uh, previous pre previous history here previous previous uh, movements it's not a, a good a good indicator of what's going to happen in the future but what we do is we work we study it and as we have humans behind this all oh, we need to consider that perhaps some similarities yeah we'll, sh we'll show when we are looking at the chart and when we are looking at the news if you look at the news now the the scenario, the, the, the sentiment is pretty much bearish. They say, hey, it's, it's, keep, keep yourselves out of Bitcoin, okay? Don't buy it. Hmm. So, then I was, so then I was thinking about it yesterday and I thought, come on, that's exactly the opposite, right? We shouldn't stay out of Bitcoin when they are saying we should buy it. Okay, I'm not... I, I, First of all, I'm not saying buy it blindly. Consider the option. Okay, consider the option. See, take a look at, at the news. Take a look at, at uh, remember. Okay, try to look at, try to look back at 2017. Try to look back at the data and see if it makes sense for you. Okay, see if it, if it's logical. If it's it's if it, if it tells you something. Okay, um, if this is if this uh, past movement here tells us something, is that news influence people to sell and investors wanted to buy and have huge profits. Okay, here is a correction. What we have is a correction. Okay, some people I, I draw this thing like a, a hump here and then going down. Uh -uh. Today I'm I'm more bullish. I don't know. I, I woke up to I woke up with this bullish spirit. <laughs> uh, why? It's a, it's like a, a hunch. I, I don't know. It's like a feeling that this is kind of we might see some kind of movement upwards. I I feel like we 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 are going to break this region here and we are going up. Okay. Hmm. Let's let's check. Let let us let us check one thing here. The EMA. Um, up here. Um, let me 
checkpoint. Another little thing here. Um, okay, so here we have our EMA. Let me just format it. Okay, I use. No, I don't want to use those. I will use this one. Yeah. Okay. I like to make it thicker. Okay, let's see the mouth. Okay, the mouth chart. The mouth chart. Oh, this is beautiful, isn't it? If we take a look, if we zoom out the chart, okay, we don't have a lot of information to create a really. We don't have enough data to create the 100 DMA because it would mean 100 mouth, and we don't have 100 mouth. Okay, we don't have one, uh, 200 more, we just have 21. In the 21 EMA, in the 55 EMA, we are pretty much polished, and we are touching the 21 EMA. Okay, it was like a correction to, to this 21 EMA. This is the, the, this is the month chart, monthly chart. So, <clears throat> each one of those bars is one month. And we are averaging the previous 21 months. And we are really here. This 21 aver this 21 average is supporting here. We had a, we, we crossed it, but we have been above it so far. Until now. Eh? Are we going to to see something different? Are we going to break down this 21 EMA? In the monthly chart, it's yet to be seen, it's yet to be confirmed. I'm not saying that's not gonna happen. What I'm saying is consider different options. Let me see the week. Yeah, the week we are the 100 DMA is acting as support. Yes. We see some kind of bending here, but not touching the 200 DMA, of course, has not. Uh, enough data we, we, we could uh, we could as well just take this off the 200 ma because it's it's nothing here <clears throat> it's yet to be formed the f the 100 dma is acting as support here if we break down we need to consider it yeah so always guys use different time frames yes daily uh, weekly Okay. The daily we had, as I said in the in a previous video, in the daily chart, we had uh, our famous double, um, our famous death cross here, yes, in June. But <clears throat> we see the 21 EMA here acting as support. Okay, Bitcoin was all was the whole month of June below the 21 EMA, but Bitcoin is now. Bitcoin is now <clears throat> above it, and the 21 EMA is acting as support. You see the weeks here trying to break it, but uh, without success. So we are now up. We are now above the 21 EMA. Okay. Yet you, and then we have this um, 55 EMA acting as resistance. Okay, it's that. That's our next stop. By the way, 7K. Yeah. But the daily chart here. Okay, so beautiful, right? Just to see how things are going. And by the way, here I, I have uh, our my wave five saying 75k. If we are to put this motive wave, we need first to break the the 55 EMA here acting as resistance, yeah, and then to create this uh, motive wave one to go up. Okay. Like I said, uh, we need to take into consideration what we have here, right? We need to take, we need to put on the table all the possible scenarios, and that that's my message today. Okay, I am bullish in the short term. Okay, I, I am, I, I'm go I want to see this breaking up, breaking this region here, and retesting this again when we we correct it and going up i want it to happen to bring some good sentiment to bring it some bullish sentiment to the market 
it's always good okay uh, thank you very much okay you guys are great thanks for watching like and subscribe yes those are my my social media uh, I'm gonna write the my social media as well here below the uh, down below in the description of the video and support me I'm going I'm going always to I, I'm gonna try to present you guys the to present you guys my best and that's it enjoy our trades guys see ya bye bye cheers